Chevrolet welcomes you to the GM family of fine automobiles. The winds of change have shaped a new generation of cars. They're stylish, efficient, spirited performers that offer first-class room, comfort, and four-door convenience. This is the Chevrolet Corsica. We've provided you with this audio tape to help you get better acquainted with some of the features of your new car. If your Corsica isn't equipped with a tape player, we suggest you use a portable tape player and listen to the tape in your car. Please park your car and follow along. Before we start, I'd like to explain a new high-tech product we've provided for your convenience. It's an extra set of emergency keys. They're called credit card keys because they fit neatly in your wallet or purse, just like a credit card. They're to be used if you misplace your keys or accidentally lock yourself out of your new Corsica. The card contains two keys, one for the door and trunk lid locks, the other for the ignition lock cylinder. To use your credit card key, just push it out from the card and insert it into the lock. The hinge on the card is flexible, so after you use your key, you can bend it back into place and put the card back in your wallet. This cassette Credit card key and glove box packet is our way of saying thank you for buying a Chevrolet. Now let's take a couple of minutes to become familiar with some important documents in your glove box. The owner's manual, warranty booklet, GM maintenance schedule booklet, and tire warranty booklet. Please follow along as we go through them. Let's begin with your warranty and owner assistance information booklet. Your new Corsica is backed by impressive warranty coverage, which begins with basic coverage on the complete vehicle for 12 months or 12,000 miles. The engine and powertrain are warranted for up to 6 years or 60,000 miles. Corrosion and rust-through coverage is for 6 years or 100,000 miles. Your Corsica's emission control systems warranty covers defects and performance for up to 5 years or 50,000 miles. Your warranty booklet also contains important information on GM's owner assistance programs and extended warranty coverage offered by the GM Protection Plan. Be sure you read your warranty and owner assistance booklet carefully. Your GM warranty covers everything on your new Corsica except the tires. They are warranted by the tire manufacturer and this is explained in your tire warranty booklet. Your tire warranty booklet also contains important advice on how you can get maximum mileage and wear from your tires. Take a deep breath. <sighs> the smell of a brand new car. There's nothing like it. While you can't keep your Corsica smelling brand new, there are things you can do to retain the safety, dependability, and emission control performance originally built into your new Corsica. And these are explained in your GM maintenance folder. Be sure you become familiar with the recommended maintenance intervals for important items such as oil and filter changes and emission system service. All you have to do is follow the maintenance schedule that most closely matches your driving conditions. Chevrolet suggests that maintenance service be done by your Chevrolet dealer. He has genuine GM parts, the right tools, and factory trained technicians to do the job right. Now, open your owner's manual and look at the table of contents. It's on the first page. Here you'll find everything you need to know to enjoy and safely operate your new Corsica. Please read the entire manual and keep it handy in your glove box. The instrument panel of your new Corsica is equipped with an impressive array of standard and available features. The panel is designed on the basis of importance to the driving function and frequency of use. Let's start on the left side with the headlight and parking light switches. To operate the lights, simply push to turn the lights on. To turn off the headlights or parking lights, push the lights off button. The dimmer control for the instrument lights is a small knob on the left of the instrument panel. You can vary the brightness of the instrument lights by turning the knob. Here's a neat little feature. Most cars are equipped with a headlight on warning buzzer, which sounds when your lights are on and the ignition switch is moved to the off, lock, or accessory position. 
If you want to silence this buzzer when you use your headlights or parking lights with the key in the off position, just turn the dimmer control knob until the instrument cluster lights are not on. Your Corsica is equipped with either a standard or an optional instrument cluster. How can you tell the difference? That's easy. If the right half of your instrument cluster has an engine tachometer, you have the optional instrument cluster. If the fuel gauge occupies the right side, you have the standard cluster. For a detailed look at your Corsica's instrument cluster, you'll find a numbered diagram on the printed insert in the cassette case. Why don't you take it out and follow along? We'll start with the standard cluster. Starting on the left, item number one is the oil pressure warning light. Items two and three are the speedometer and odometer. Number four is the service engine soon light. We'll discuss that in detail later on. Number five is the engine coolant temperature light. The fuel gauge is item number six. Seven is the charging system light. Along the lower part of the instrument cluster, you'll find items eight through 15. They are the right turn indicator, the low coolant warning light, seat belt reminder light, upshift indicator light for manual transmission cars, shift indicator for some automatic transmission equipped cars, the headlight high beam indicator, the brake warning light, and at the far left, the left turn signal indicator. For a detailed explanation of these items, see section two in your owner's manual. Now let's look at the optional instrument cluster. Starting on the left, Item number one is the oil pressure gauge. Items two and three are the speedometer and odometer. Number four is the fuel gauge. Item number five is the service engine soon light, and again, we'll talk about that in a minute. Number six is the engine coolant temperature gauge. Seven is the engine tachometer. And right in the middle of the tachometer, you'll find the trip odometer, which you reset by pushing the button in the upper right side of the cluster. Item number eight is the voltmeter. Along the lower portion of the instrument cluster, you'll find items nine through 17. They are from right to left. The right turn indicator, low coolant warning light, seat belt reminder, upshift indicator light for manual transmission cars, shift indicator for some automatic transmission equipped cars, the headlight high beam indicator, the brake warning light, and at the far left, the left turn signal indicator. Now, about that service engine soon light. Your Corsica is equipped with a computer command control system, and an important part of that system is the service engine soon light. This light serves to indicate the need for system service. The light will come on and stay on for a short time when you start the engine to let you know the bulb is working. If the light comes on either intermittently or continuously while driving, service to the computer command control system is required. Although in most cases the vehicle is drivable and does not require towing, you should see your Chevrolet dealer as soon as possible for service. Moving to the right, the pod to the right side of the instrument cluster holds the windshield wiper switch. For steady wiping at slow or high speed, simply turn the control to either low or high. For a single wiping cycle, turn the control to mist. The wipers will wipe as long as you hold the control in this position. The available intermittent windshield wiper lets you vary the wiper speed from a 16 second delay between wipes up to the normal low and high speeds of the standard wiper. The delay wipers work just like the standard wipers. All you have to do is turn the control within the delay area to vary the amount of delay between wipes. When you need to clean the windshield, just push the wiper control switch. The spray will continue as long as you hold in the control. To stop the wiper, just turn the wiper control to the off position. If your Corsica is equipped with an available rear window defogger, its control knob is located beneath the wiper switch on the right edge. A small light will come on whenever the rear window defogger is operating. To keep the defogger working efficiently, it's best to clear away large accumulations of ice and snow from the rear window. 
the rear window defogger will shut off automatically after 5 or 10 minutes. Now let's look at the controls for the heater and air conditioner if equipped. The standard heater has three controls. The air control lever, which regulates airflow from the heater, defroster, and vent outlets. The temperature control lever, and fan speed control. The available air conditioning system is simple to use and has three basic controls just like the standard heater. The air control dial regulates airflow from the heater, side window defogger, defroster, and adjustable air conditioner outlets. It also controls the operation of the air conditioning compressor. When the control is in the max position, conditioned air is blended with a small amount of outside air and distributed through the instrument panel outlets. When the control is in the norm position, outside air is conditioned and directed through the instrument panel outlets. When the bi-level position is selected, outside air is conditioned and directed through the heater outlets, defroster outlets, and instrument panel outlets. The temperature control dial regulates the temperature of air entering the passenger compartment in all operating modes, even when the air conditioner is operating. The fan control dial provides speed control of a blower fan. Just set it at the speed that's most comfortable for you. If your Corsica is equipped with one of the available Delco sound systems, complete instructions on adjusting the sound, presetting radio stations, and using the cassette player are located in Section 2 of your Owner's Manual. Here's some advice to help you get optimum performance from your tape player. First, be sure to clean the internal parts of your tape player periodically with a non-abrasive cleaning cassette. These can be purchased in most appliance and record stores. Second, protect your tapes from extreme temperatures. Never leave tapes exposed to direct sunlight or extreme cold, and always store them in their original cases to protect them from dirt or damage. Finally, the use of extended play 120-minute tapes in your Delco tape player is not recommended. Say, do you know what time it is? If your Corsica is equipped with a digital clock and it isn't set to the correct time, why don't we set it right now? Here are two ways. First, if your Delco sound system has a digital clock located in the upper left corner of the radio, to set the correct time, turn the ignition to accessory or run. Next, insert a ballpoint pen into the top recessed button to the left of the clock and press lightly until the correct hour appears in the display. Repeat this process with the lower button to set the minutes. One word of advice here. Don't use a pencil or toothpick to press the buttons because these could break and jam the buttons. If your Corsica is equipped with an AM FM stereo, the clock is built into the graphic display. To set the time, first turn the ignition to accessory or run. Then press the set button and within five seconds press and hold the scan button until the correct hour appears. To set the minutes, press the set button and within five seconds press the seat button until the correct minute appears. You can display the time on your clock even when the ignition is off by pressing the recall knob in the upper left corner of your radio. If your Corsica is equipped with the available tilt steering wheel, you can adjust the height of the steering wheel by pulling the tilt lever toward you and then placing the wheel into the desired position. Also located on the steering column's left side is the turn signal and multifunction lever. In addition to the turn signals, this control also controls the headlight high and low beam and the on-off switch for the available cruise control. If your Corsica is equipped with cruise control, here's how it works. When you are driving at a speed greater than 25 miles per hour, move the cruise control switch to the on position. Then just touch the set button located in the yoke of the steering wheel and your Corsica will hold the set speed. To reset the cruise control to a faster speed, push the resume excel button and hold. Your Corsica will increase in speed at a slow, controlled rate until you release the button. To reset the cruise control to a slower speed, push in the set button. When the car slows to the desired speed, release the button. 
The cruise control has another feature you will find useful for making small speed adjustments to blend with traffic. It's called the tap up, tap down feature and it allows you to increase or decrease your speed in one mile per hour increments by tapping either the resume excel button or the set button. After braking or stopping the car, you can resume your last set cruising speed by accelerating to 25 miles per hour or more and then pressing the resume excel button for about one second. When you release the button, the car will accelerate to the cruising speed set before you touch the brakes. You can disengage the cruise control by simply pushing the brake or clutch pedal. You can also turn off the cruise control by moving the cruise control switch on the multifunction control to off. Let's look at the right side of the steering column where you'll find the ignition switch and the hazard warning flasher. If you need to stop near the side of a road, Turn on the hazard warning flasher by sliding the switch up. Turn it off by sliding it down. When the hazard warning flasher is operating, your turn signals will not operate. If you step on the brakes, the lights will still flash and the center high mounted stop lamp located in your rear window will indicate the stop. We hope you never need to use your Corsica's hazard warning flashers, but just to be on the safe side, be sure you read the emergency procedures in section 3 of your owner's manual. This section tells you how to change a flat tire, how to correctly use jumper cables, and how to free your car from mud or snow. The ignition switch has five positions. Accessory, to operate electrical accessories such as the radio. The lock position locks both the ignition and the steering wheel. The off position turns off the engine without locking the steering wheel. The run position is the normal operating position when driving, and of course the start position is used to crank the engine when starting. Now that you're more familiar with your new Corsica's instrument panel, why don't we head out for a drive right now? Don't forget to buckle up. glad you selected a Chevrolet for your new car, and we hope you spend many pleasurable hours behind the wheel of your new Corsica. Happy motoring! All information, illustrations, and specifications are based on the latest product information available at time of production. We reserve the right to make changes at any time without notice.